Hi there, this is Jess for Ace Poker Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and set up the Bluestacks emulator. First let's go to Google and type in Bluestacks. Hit enter and it will be bluestacks.com. Click on that link and then click on download Bluestacks and then you will get the online installer. Click on it, click on run and click on install now. So this is an online installer. First you will wait for the software to download and then to proceed with the installation. If you want to go for the offline installer, you can also do that. I'll go ahead and cancel this one. So I'll just refresh this. Just go to support, click on the on the website, click on support. And so this is the support section. Just type in offline installer, hit enter, and click on this uh, first result. So from here you can uh, download either for 64 bit or 34, sorry, 32 bit windows, whichever you are using. Once the download is finished, just uh, double click on the installer and we'll start the installation. Click on install now and just wait for the installation to finish. Once the installation is finished, click on launch and the emulator will start up and load. By default, a uh, Bluestacks emulator opens in Game Center. To go to the home screen, just click on My Games. And as you can see, we're now in uh, landscape mode which is like a tablet if you want to put it in a portrait like phone mode just click on the gear icon here click on this drop down and select portrait or phone mode select your resolution and click save and restart now now the emulator is on portrait mode and just like in regular Android phone. So just go ahead to my games. Just to show you a few buttons. So suppose I open settings. If you want to go back, this is the back button. Also, if you want to go home, then just go here to the top. There are tabs here. And the first one is the home tab so you can just click on that and be back on the home screen you can also close uh, settings or other games by clicking on the red uh, x icon and that will close it now i'm going to show you how to install a poker app in bluestacks so for example you want to install red dragon let's just go to google and type red dragon poker this is the correct website click on it from the menu click on red dragon poker app click on android and then on click download apk and select from one of these three buttons to start the download and wait for it to finish. Once the download is finished, you will have the APK file for the poker app. So this is for Red Dragon. To install it, you can double click on the file or you can just drag the file and bring it over to the home screen, release it, and it will install the poker app. 
So now Red Dragon is installed. All that's left to do is to click on the icon to launch the poker app. And now the poker app is loaded. All that's left to do is to log in or register if you don't already have an account. Now I'll be showing you how to multi-table with Bluestacks emulator. So when you install Bluestacks, you should get uh, two icons like this, or if not, you can search them and start. But now we're going to open Bluestacks multi-instance manager. The first one, uh, so this is the first emulator that we started, so it's still running. First, we have to close it. Okay, close Bluestacks. And so if you want to create, say, three instances, three tables, you just have to click on this icon. It's clone instance, so click on it. And from here, you can select um, several settings for the CPU cores, RAM, etc. Basically, this affects how the emulator performs and how it impacts your system. And you can select the resolution as well. And how many instances you want to create. So since I want to have three in total, I will add two more. And just click on Create. As you can see, I have now total of three emulators, and uh, you can start them all now. So just select which emulator you want to start, or just click here on select all, and then click start. First one, second one, and third one. Now all three emulators or instances are loaded and you can do your uh, multi-tabling. Going back to the multi-instance manager, there's also a button here, the arrange button. So basically if you want to automatically resize the windows to fit into the screen, you can do so from here. But first let's Click on settings. So here you have uh, FPS settings, etc. You want to adjust this uh, instances per row. So say you want to fit uh, five, five of these instances in a row. So you just click on five, click on save, and click on arrange. And you can see the windows are small, so you can arrange them side by side according to your preference. If you're playing more tables, then you can adjust these settings, number of instances per row, to suit your needs. And just click on save. Now, if you want to also close them simultaneously, again, just click on select all or select which instance you want to close and click stop and close selected. So that will close all the instance, instances that you've selected. Now I'll show you a few settings for the emulator. So in the emulator window, just click again on the gear icon. And there are several tabs here on the left. Uh, you can uh, adjust them all but what you really want to pay attention to is here on display engine and shortcut keys maybe so in display like before you can set it in portrait or uh, tablet mode so like the resolution etc and here on engine this is where you can play with the settings uh, adjusting this will uh, can help improve the performance of your emulator. 
as well as here on preferences you can also adjust this and if you're a fan of using shortcut keys you can do so from here on this game tab and if you do adjust some settings uh, just remember to click the save button to save your settings and that's it for this video thank you for watching and good luck at the tables.